Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is uh, Sechamba Jacob. All right, so this is question uh, one from 2021 GCE paper two. So question one A was the question you're able to see, which says simplify A squared, X squared minus B squared, Y squared over AX plus BY. So here, without wasting much of our time, we need to know that it is difference of two squares because of the powers. So how do you work out the difference of two squares over here? You just say a x uh, minus b y. Okay? You copy what is here without the powers. The next thing will just be to get the same stuff, change the sign which is in between, put it plus. This is minus, here put it plus. So this expression is the same as it, what we have here. Because when we multiply, we'll still get the same. These brackets are telling us to multiply. So we say over a x plus b y. Okay? What is down here? So our next step here will just be to uh, cancel what is common. This and this can cancel. We'll remain with a x minus b y and uh, this is our solution we go to question uh, b uh, question b uh, was to we're given a uh, we're given the the geometric progression okay so let me try to write it down so that you have an idea of what i'm talking about so it was B was uh, given the uh, geometric geometric progression progression four comma two comma one find so uh, here we had. Uh, one Roman numeral one, they said find the seventh term. So, how do you find the seventh term over here? In order for us to find the seventh term, we need to know the formula for finding the nth term of geometric progression. In this case, we will say nth, okay, this is the formula, is equal to. Uh, a r n minus c one this is the formula we have to know so what is our a let me put our data here our a in this case is a four let me say a is equal to four and our r what is our r our R will be equal to 1 over 2. I will explain on how to find the things I'm, find, um, I'm, I'm, I'm putting here. So our A, this A is, a, is, is 4. R is 1, point, uh, one, 1 over 2. And the N is what we've been asked to find, which is uh, 7. So now, what does A mean? A means the first term. When you see the progression that you've been given, the term which is at position one here is always a and r r the way we find r we say r is a common ratio so you get what is to your right side divide what to your uh, divide by what is to your left side in this case we have this okay because two into two one and two four is a two or if you want you can get one over two this one is to your right divide by two okay so now we can now plug in, since we have what we need, we can plug in. So our A, so we say N, N is 7, so we're looking for the 7th term, which is equal to our A is 4, our R is 1 over 2, our N is 7 minus 1. So we just plug in the stuff. So here, our 7th term will be equal to 4, here, 1 over 2 uh, uh, power, power 6. So we can uh, 
we can work out our stuff here what is uh, what is this so we say 2 to the power 6 let me punch on my calculator I'm getting uh, 64 so you say 4 here 1 over 64 because when we say uh, in other ways what this power means it means 1 to the power 6 is 1 2 to the power 6 is 64 so now we can work out nicely uh, we have 4 over 64 we've just multiplied 4 times 1 is 4 uh, over 64 here so 4 into 4 1 4 into 64 what are we getting it is 16 so our answer will be equal to 1 over 16 or you can say or 0 0.0625 this is our solution if you want you can leave it like this or like this whichever okay we're still on b we're still on question b so on this question b uh, Roman numeral 2 they they want us to find uh, they want us to find uh, to find the sum sum of first nine terms so they want us to find the sum of the first nine terms so the formula of finding sum so it says sum is equal to a open bracket n oh, sorry a open bracket 1 minus r n power n there over 1 minus r this is the formula okay so uh, in this case the only thing that will change is n the n here will be 9 because they are asking us to find the sum of how many terms nine terms so we're going to say nine here where there is n we put nine for a we know that our a is what it is four one minus our r common ratio is one over two our n we know that is what it is uh nine over one minus one over two so now we can work out things here we have four 1 minus, we, we try to find this 1 to the power 9 is 1 over 2 to the power 9. What is 2 to the power 9? It is, uh, it is 5, 12. I guess you're, you're finding 5, 12. So confirm if you're finding 5, 12. Yes, it's 512. I've just confirmed over 1 minus 2, uh, minus 1 over 3. Here, we can work out things inside the brackets here. We find the common denominator, which is 512, here, on top here. So here, it will be 512 minus 1 over common denominator here is, uh, is, uh, is 2. So it will be 2 minus 1 here. So we can work out things. Let me take it somewhere here. So it will give us 4 here. 4. Here we have, uh, when we say 5, 12 minus 1, it will just be 5, 5, 11. Over 5, 12. Over 1, over 2. Okay. So we can continue. Here we, we distribute this, so we say 4 times 5, 2, 5, 11, 4 times 5, 11, it's giving us uh, 2, 2,044 over 5, 12, here we have 1 over 2, of which when dividing fractions, this will, uh, will reciprocate, so it will look like this, 2, 0, uh, 4, 4, over 5, 12, 
times 2 over 1 okay so when you multiply there this by this it's giving us uh, let me put it here it's giving us uh, 4088 over 5 12 so we can reduce we divide by 5 12 what are we getting we are getting our final answer is 7.9 eight in three significant figures so this is our solution so we go to the last question of question 1 20 21 gce let me clean up so the last question here was to find uh which is question f c was to find uh, the geometric mean okay so we're asked to find the geometric mean. This is still question one, C. So they said find the geometric, geometric mean. So geometric mean of, of uh, this and uh, this over here so the way we find geometric mean when you have been given two terms okay you just say x whichever variable you want to pick so in this case i work with x x over the first term is equal to uh, the second term or the, the other term over the same x okay so this is how you find the geometric mean over uh, two terms so get the term which is first put it down here you say x over the first term and then is equal to the other term over x so now you cross multiply we have uh, x squared because x by x is x squared which is equal to when you multiply here 196 times 15625 we are getting something like uh, this okay hopefully is what you're getting so try to confirm if this is what you are also getting let me go through again we try to check yeah is uh, a zero i think i was there was a zero missing here so this is what we are we are basically getting so now here at this point we need to find or to get rid of this power two so you square both sides so x this power will go because of this square root so x will be equal to one seven five zero so this is the, the geometric key, mean you can even say geometric geometric mean is equal to one thousand seven hundred and fifty this is our answer thank you very much kindly watch the next video where i'll be showing you on how to answer question two so for question two i'm going to put the description uh, uh in the uh, sorry i'm going to put the link in the description below so you just check once i finish i'll put it and keep on watching my videos so question two it was a quadratic equation and uh, probability okay so make sure you find time to watch question two bye bye